I'm Will Date reporting for Let's Recycle. We're here in Orpington. Today is the first day of clearance at the Waste for Fuel site uh, where Veolia is taking away waste on behalf of Bromley Council. Uh, we've spoken to the council here and Veolia who are both uh, pleased to have finally begun clearance of the site after more than four years um, of battles between the landowner and, Cro and Bromley Council. Uh, the council's now bought the land um, from Waste for Fuel and as you can see behind me clearance is now taking place. Can you tell us a bit about how this problem has arisen and, and what you've had to do as a council to be able to actually clear waste from the site? Yes it's built up as you say over a number of years. Uh, the licence first issued in 2001 for a waste uh, recycling site. A planning permission gained on appeal and the licence gained on appeal uh, for 5,000 tonnes. Well obviously more recently than that we've seen waste for fuel taking advantage of the site, the local owners taking advantage of the site, it's seen it grow from 5,000 to up to 18, 20,000 tonnes. Is there anything that councils can do more to actually prevent waste from building up on sites like this? Is there more that enforcement agencies can do? What do you think the, uh, the key lessons well, are? Bromley Council have been trying to do that for a number of years. Of course, it's not, very, it's not easy. We don't issue the licence. We've always believed it was the environment agency's role to do that. Uh, but certainly we'll pick up any lessons there are around securing the site. Sean, um, we've seen that there's quite a high volume of waste here. What sort of material is it you're having to deal with um, on the site? It's predominantly commercial waste from the operation that was here previously. And um, in terms of the, the actual process that you're going to have to do to, to get rid of the waste, um, what are you going to have to ship out and, and what sort of things, what sort of processes and facilities is it going to go to? Well we're looking to have about 10 loads a day leaving so we're hoping to be moving about 200 tonnes a day over a 20 week period to allow us to clear the site and hand the land back to the council um, and the material will be going to a local facility where we'll look to sort and recover as much as we can for recycling. So. In terms of the material that's in there, obviously it's been some of it's been in there for a number of years. Um, a lot of it will have degraded by now. I mean, in terms of the quality of the stuff you're getting back, what, what are you expecting to see from that? Well, that's going to be a challenge, but until we get deeper into the material, we won't mm -hmm. know that. So mm -hmm. we um, are hoping to recover as much as we can.